After cutting, dremeling, and measuring everything out, we got a whole bunch of leftover plastic. Oh, and a awesome looking engine cover. What's up, what's up? I'm Rebuilder Guy, and this is my budget Mastercraft Mari Star build. If you wanna see the other videos, link is gonna be in the top right hand corner. Today, guys, I'm super excited. We partnered up with New Dimension Towers. This tower here is actually made by the same exact guy that created the tower for this Mastercraft. That is super awesome. I really wanted to get a factory tower because those aftermarket towers rattle and shake and they're super annoying. And this is how it showed up, completely ready to go. All we need to do is put four holes into the boat and in she goes. New Dimension Towers has been around since 1987. They use the highest grade aluminum that would stand all the pressures that you need whenever you're wakeboarding, wake surfing, all that goodness. They make towers for essentially any boat make or model. I'm gonna link them down below. Go ahead, check them out, and let me know how you like your new tower. Let's get this thing unboxed and mounted on the boat, Rebuilder Guy style. a whole bunch of shipping material. You know your tower's coming home safe when they package it like that. Check out this craftsmanship though. Look at these welds. Look at the touch. Look at the details, that is awesome. We got the mounting brackets here. The plates, they look pretty solid. Look at these massive bolts. They also included a black bimini top, bimini cover, that's gonna be beautiful with this boat i mean wow this this is some good quality work boys i'm telling you also got some instructions here got some pictures got like six pages of instructions i'm going to go ahead and read these and then install it essentially it's just four bolts but you just want to get it just right so you disperse the weight and so you don't break anything all right let's get this thing mounted oh this is going to look so good the holes drilled out looking really good no cracking of the gel coat so that's a big plus here on the front as well looking really good now all we have to do is put the tower on and put these metal brackets on the back side tighten it up and we should be rocking and rolling with this new dimension towers tower
Dun, dun, dun. Look at that tower. That thing is absolutely beautiful. It's mounted, it's solid. I'm taking it here and I'm literally shaking the entire boat with this thing. This thing is awesome. Check this out. And we also mounted the bimini top. It's a two piece. It's, it's beautiful. I don't know what to say. New Dimension Towers, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. This tower makes this entire boat pop. This is cool. I'm gonna link them down below in the description. Go check them out. Pick up an awesome tower for yourself. And now we're gonna jump onto the back end. We have a little issue here, guys. We got a big old hole. Let's cover it up. All right, let's jump onto the engine cover here. We took some heavy damage. Back in the day, they used to use this aluminum deal, which didn't hold up over time, and it just broke. So we ended up going to a plastic manufacturing plant, and we found this high-density marine plastic deal. It's super thick, super heavy duty. It's gonna work just perfect for us. We're gonna take the vinyl off right now, then we're gonna trace it out, cut it out with the Dremel, and then take it to the upholstery shop and get a nice engine cover. All right, let's get some work done. Bets are off. I'm gonna find my way tonight. Way tonight. After cutting, dremeling, and measuring everything out, we got a whole bunch of leftover plastic. Oh, and a awesome looking engine cover. This centerpiece came out pretty good as well. I'm happy with it. We were kind of concerned that it may have some issues here in the middle, but after, after looking at it some more, this is some uh, heavy duty plastic, so I think we'll be okay. We contacted an upholstery shop. They're gonna go ahead and take care of us from here. The vinyl is ready to go. Same thing with this foam pad. Now let's jump onto the Teak swim platform. Got the swim platform in the shop. We got some brackets in, 104 degree brackets that are gonna sit right in here. We're gonna take these factory brackets off and then we're gonna make some holes in the new brackets and then mount this up. Should look really good. The Teak swim platform is on. It's a little bit dusty, but it looks really good. The angle is just, it's awesome. We got the pins in, everything is looking really good. And while we were doing this, check out what showed up. The engine cover, look at this. They did a wonderful job. The piping looks really good, stitching looks good. That's what I'm talking about. We're not gonna need any ballast after we put this heavy thing on. And also we're gonna put on the actuator as well so the engine cover can lift automatically. Let's get it on. Engine 
cover is on, the teak swim platform is on, the awesome tower from New Dimension Towers is on, looks really good. We even managed to put on the shock here and look how Cadillac this is. With the press of a button over there in the front, this thing just goes right on down and closes. This thing is awesome. We've, I've worked on a lot of boats and uh, this is the first one that does that. So thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. I will see you in the next video when we go to a junkyard in Houston for this windshield.